Hey guys, Sir Craig Kuzumar here, back with another video, and in this video today, I'm going to be painting a little random illustration I decided to do. The character's design isn't for anything, for a manga or anything like that, I, although I might actually um, end up using it in a manga of my own because I actually liked how it came out for once with most of my art. I'm not too satisfied with most of my art. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, so uh, I actually tried um, doing like a, a different kind of painting than I normally do. Um, I normally go in and do a lot of uh, shading detail and stuff like that, like heavier detail. Um, I don't know how to describe the difference between that one and this one. Um, this one's kind of softer, more uh, paintly, um, it doesn't have as strong uh, ink lines. Um, the lines do look thicker, but um, they're also a little sketchier, and I do get rid of them, get, get rid of some of them, and uh, thin some of them out when I uh, get further into painting it. Um, so yeah, I was trying to go more of a painty style, more soft um, coloring style with this one. But yeah. Um, right now, uh, I'm trying to focus on a lot of things and improvement as an artist, just being able to draw things better, faster, uh, get down a painting style that, um, I can rely on if I need to do something fast, because I never necessarily had that. All my painting styles before were, uh, or coloring styles were very trial and error, and, um, it would take me a long time to end up coloring the thing and majority of the time of my uh, previous illustrations majority of the time would be me coloring it so I and it would be too much trial and error and it would just take too long so I wanted to get down something that was um I noticed how important flats were and I'm not very good with colors honestly um so I wanted to try to get down the flats good um down to the right color because if they have the right color then that I found that was my biggest problem with some of my other illustrations was if you don't have a good flat color um, doing the shades and then highlights will become much more unpleasing to your taste because it's not what you were going for um, and then there's a bunch of like retries and all that stuff so this illustration was really me just kind of focusing on trying to go simple, but just detailed enough. And uh, I don't know, I kind of like how, how it turned out. And uh, the cool thing about um, with going for a more simple coloring style like this for me, and if I get faster at it, um, I can also pull from other artists and what I learned from their techniques in order to maybe further this style and uh, get more detailed or better and stuff like that. So just kind of building on the skill level instead of jumping. Uh, a lot of the time what I would do is I would <laughs> not know how to, I didn't, see I, I practiced anatomy a lot in my younger days and I didn't um, color at all because I didn't have anything to color with. And um, so I practiced mostly anatomy and when I went to color, um, when I finally got digital work, it looked like poop for one. For two, um, I tried to jump straight into doing like really good painting stuff, which I just wasn't, I just didn't have the base of painting in order to know what the heck I was doing. So it made me more frustrated than anything, and it took a long time to finish illustrations each time instead of focusing on getting the right flats, which is the first, you know, the first thing to do. <laughs> And then um, getting in simple uh, shades, and then getting in simple highlights. And then when you learn, when you're doing stuff like that, and you're satisfied with your work afterwards, and you're but you want it to be more detailed, you can eventually learn how to build on top of that even further. So we all gotta know the bases first. But yeah, I'm kind of taking a back step to trying to do a little bit more. Um, uh, cell shading with a little bit more softness to it and uh, I'm gonna see where it takes me um, 
So uh, let me know how you guys like this coloring style because it is a, and just this art style in general. It, it is a little different than my other stuff, just slightly. But uh, yeah, just in case you're wondering uh, what this is drawn on, it's drawn on Procreate. Um, as for the pencil or brush I use to ink the lines, um, it's kind of something I made on my own. But honestly, if you did this with uh, just any pencil with, you know, slightly lower density, it, it would turn out the same way. Um, what I did to make it look so uh, attached to the character was I turned the, once I did the line art and everything, and I put on the flats, I turned the line art to multiply, and then I changed the color of the uh, line art layer. I locked the layer and then I changed the color of the lines. And what the multiply would do is any line that it's, any color that's sitting beneath it, the multiply and the color that you put on it, it changes per color. So it gives it a better feel to it, uh, almost like the whole thing was painted. So uh, try that out sometime. I, I think I changed it to like some sort of uh, brown, but uh, you have to be careful on what kind of color you use when you're doing multiply. Um, because it does work different than if you know a normal layer anyways guys um, what I used to paint this with um, was all the airbrushes that are already default there I use those so you guys can do the same thing but anyways this video is coming to its end here if you guys like this video please hit that thumbs up button and if you're new to this channel like what you see please watch some more videos and subscribe also tomorrow arms of the dragon is coming out um, check that out. Links of everything will be in the description and I'll see you guys next time.